Hello, Sandra and Rosa, how are you? I'm fine and you? I'm fine and you? Excited, excited to begin our first day of class. And you? you are you excited? Yes, I'm excited too, teacher. Excellent, sir. That's good. Is with the rain, with the storm. I thought, oh, maybe they cancel the class. Maybe they say no. Begin tomorrow. Begin Wednesday. Begin Thursday. But we continue. Yes. Good evening, teacher. Evening. Good evening. Okay. So, Sir, what's your name? Sir, what's your name? Me, teacher. Yeah, the only one that has Sir. I don't know. There's no name in there. Uh-huh. Yes, Sir Omira. I don't know. Sir Omira. Sir Omira. Wow. That's a very unusual name. What do you think, <laughs> what do you think Nady? Is unusual or is normal? It's, uh, it's normal. It's normal. Nady, oh, did you, do no, you know his name? Siramira? Yeah. Yes. Or Sandra, have you heard this name before? I see Nady is very quiet. It's okay. Maybe she uses uh, Evie's. Mm -hmm. No, I, I never listened to that name. Yeah, me either. It's super new for me. Rosa, what do you think? Okay, I think Rosa is a little busy. I see in the picture she has her, her boyfriend there and maybe in this moment with the cold weather, hugging the boyfriend. Oh, he's so cold. Give me some more. Okay, Rosa, no problem. We come back later. All right. <laughs> so guys, we are going to get- Good evening. Good evening. All right. We're going to get started on today's. This is intermediate two. You should be in intermediate Two. Let me explain a little bit and then we can get started on it. So we have uh, intermediate two is going to have five sections. Sections one, two, and three, we're going to complete this week and next week. So in the first two weeks, the first eight classes, we complete sections one, two, and three. And then the last two weeks, we are going to complete section four and five. Next week, Thursday, we finish section three and we have a midterm exam. The midterm exam is exam units one, two, and three, okay? July 27th, July 27th, we finish section five. In section five, we have a final exam. And the final exam is going to be section one, two, three, four, and five. For you to pass to intermediate three, you need to have minimum grades 80. 80. To check your grade, you click in progress, in progress, and then here you can see to pass, you need 80. You can check all of the activities in section one, two, three, midterm, four, five and final exam is minimum 80 to pass. Okay, any questions? No, no. No, nothing. All right, good. So my name is Edwin and I'm going to be your instructor, your teacher this month. We are going to be together from now this week is going to be different because this week we're going to have classes Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday because yesterday we didn't have class because of the hurricane. This week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday are classes. And then the other weeks, the class is normal, Monday through Thursday. Only this week is going to be a little bit different. It's okay? Okay. Okay. All right, good. So 
the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start off with our objective for the unit and for today's lesson. Sandra Cecilia, can you please read the objective? In this lesson, participants will listen and practice a conversation between family members. All right. So before we look at the family members, what family members do you remember? Give me some example of family members. Parents. Sir? Parents. Parents, good. We have parents. What else? Sons. Son? And wife. Okay. What are sons, Sir? What? What are sons? The, my son. My son is a member of the family, my family. Okay, and if it's a girl, what is the name? Uh, a girl, a son? Ah, my, my, my name, my son. No, the name of, if, if the son is a girl, what is the name? Can I? Yes, go ahead, Eric. Daughter. Daughter, Daughter. correct. Because I think Sir is thinking in Spanish. Hijos, hijos is not sons. This is in Spanish for boys and girls, right? Sons is only for boys, daughters only for girls, okay? The two, what are the two called? Children. The, correct, Eric, children, that's right. That's right, okay? And that's where we have to be clear. Sometimes we confuse a little bit with our Spanish. So uh, let's take a look. Son, uh, Nady, Nady, what if I have a brother? What is, if it's a woman, what is the name? Um, brothers, teacher. No, brothers is plural, but what if my brother is a girl? If my brother is a girl, Kimberly, what is the name? Sister. Sister, very good, <laughs> very good. What if I have brother and sister? What are the names for the two? Siblings. Excellent. Very good. We have siblings. Correct. The same way that daughter and son is children, the brother and sister is siblings. Excellent. Good. It's only to help us review a little bit the family. Let's find out in our video 1.1. What are we going to listen to about family members? Hi, welcome to this new course. This time you will not only listen to a conversation, but you will also notice two part verbs or phrasal verbs. Pay attention to turn down, pick up, and so on. Try to write them down as they will help you for later usage. Listen and practice. Jason, Jason. Turn down the TV, please. Oh, but this is my favorite program. I know, but it's very loud. Okay, I'll turn it down. That's better, thanks. Lisa, please pick up your things. They're all over the floor. In a minute, Mom, I'm on the phone. All right, but do it as soon as you hang up. Okay, no problem. Goodness, were we like this when we were kids? Definitely. All right, let's take a look at that conversation about a family arguing, okay? First, are there any words that you don't know what the meanings are or how to pronounce? All is clear. Repeat one more time. All is clear. I didn't ah, know. all is clear, okay, good. No problem. It's, I hear a little echo. That's why. No problem. No problem. Okay. Good. Any, anybody else? Any other words? It's clear, teacher, for me. Clear? All right. Good. So what are we going to do? The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a moment with our partners and practice. Mr. Field and Jason and Lisa. Then we're going to change. Then then my partner is going to be Jason, and then I'm going to be Mr. or Mrs. Field. So as you can see, we have four people, Mr. Field, Mrs. Field, Jason, and Lisa, 
we have four people. So maybe you have to be two and two with your partner. Two people, one partner, and then two people, the other partner. So first, let's practice the conversation. We're ready? I'm ready. Okay, good. It should be quick, not, not too long, only a few moments. Josue, I'll send you to a group. Rocio, you okay? Turn down. Okay. Any questions, Sandra? Hello. 
Did you have a question, Sandra? No, no. No, okay. All right, anybody else, any questions? What is hang up? What is? Hang up. Hang up means when you are talking to disconnect the call or to stop the call. This is hang up. Pero, o sea, ¿cómo quiere interpretar la oración? Porque dice, but do it as soon as you hang up. As soon as you disconnect the call. Ah, ok, ok. Uh -huh. Ok. Como que, ah, cuando nomás pare la llamada, que haga las cosas. That's good Spanish, Eric. You should be a Salvadorian. Cuando pierde el teléfono. Pues sí. I like it, I like it. There you go. Uh -huh. But, so hang up, disconnect. Traditionally, the phone, like this, hang up. Good. Any other words or expressions? All right. It's excellent because Eric is mentioning one of the, the next topics. The next topic is these turn these two part verbs where we use two words, not one. For example, not hang, but hang up, not turn, but turn down. These are our next topic. This is called two part verbs. And we're going to see that the two verbs together have a different meaning than only one, okay? So let's watch a little bit of the video. Hello, we're now moving to the explanation of two part verbs or phrasal verbs. Get your pen and notebooks ready and follow us for better understanding. Two part verbs. Will for responding to requests. With nouns. Turn down the TV. Turn the TV down. Pick up your things. Pick your things up. With pronouns. Turn it down. Pick them up. Requests and responses. Please turn down the music. Okay, I'll turn it down. Pick up your clothes, please. All right, I'll pick them up. Let's talk about two-part verbs or phrasal verbs. These types of verbs are made up of two parts, a verb plus a particle. For example, put off. Put is the verb and off is the particle. It is also important to know that two-part verbs can change in meaning. The verb put means to place and put off means to postpone. Let's move on talking about two-part verbs with nouns. If the object is a noun, for example, TV, car, computer, can come before or after the particle. Read the following examples with me. The noise woke the giant up, or the noise woke up the giant. Both sentences are correct. Now, when the object of the two-part verb is a pronoun, it can only come between the verb and the particle. Mm. Pick him up. This is important because this means you can't separate. It's only correct in the middle. Okay. It's not correct pick up him. Okay. It's only correct pick him up if it's a pronoun. He keeps putting it off. Call her back. So you see here is not correct. He keeps putting off it. It's not correct call her call back her only is correct in the middle as a final note when you use the same verb with a different particle the meaning changes for example put plus off means to postpone put plus on means to cover your body with clothes put plus back means to return something to its original place we will finish this explanation by adding that two-part verbs or phrasal verbs are very common, especially in formal English. Now that you have identified phrasal verbs, we want you to write some examples. Write on our discussion box one sentence using a phrasal verb with a noun and another sentence with a pronoun. Okay, 
So as you can see, there are many things for phrasal verbs, like the word put. Put is a very common one because you change the meanings. For example, put off, put on, put back. Maybe you've heard of the phrasal verb in other moments. It's very common with the word turn. Maybe you heard the word turn on. Have you heard turn on? Yes, I have. Okay, what is the opposite of turn on? Turn off. Exactly, this is turn off. Now, what if I want to increase, increase the volume on the TV? What do I say? Turn up. Correct. And if I want to decrease, if I want to decrease the volume? Turn, turn down. down. Exactly. These are what they call the phrasal verbs. So when you use it, remember, if it's a pronoun, it's in the middle. If it's a word at the end, for example, turn down the TV or turn it down, right? Turn up the TV or turn it up, okay? Always remember that the word at the end and the, the pronoun in the middle. It's okay? Now, what are we going to do? I want you to think about, you want to use some phrasal verbs. In the chat, you have a list of phrasal verbs that we're going to work on. With your partner, we want to use those. We want to use not all of them is too big the list, but you want to use some of them to talk with your partners, okay? So with your partners, you want to make sentences, your own sentence using some of those phrasal verbs, okay? Before we do that, we're going to make sure that it's clear the basic phrasal verbs. The list that I gave you is extra phrasal verbs, but we are going to begin with our basic phrasal verbs. With your partner, you're going to go in 1.4, 1.4, and here we have a picture, okay? Or if you want, you can make the picture bigger, for example, like this, and you have many different things, books, toys, the radio, all of the different things. Look at the words. It's okay, all of the words, the toys, the yard, the lights, it's clear the vocabulary? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. So with your partner, 1.4, you're going to use the correct noun to complete. You have 10 words that you need to use. Here are the 10 words. What do you pick up? Do you pick up the books? Do you pick up the toys? Do you pick up the radio? Do you pick up the jacket? According to you and your partner, which words are the correct words to complete the sentences? So 1.4, you and your partner are going to complete with the correct word from the pictures. This is activity one right now. Okay. Okay, Mercedes. Okay. All right. Let's try it.
Mercedes, did you finish? Mercedes? Sí, buenas noches. Tengo un poco de problemas con el internet. Está lloviendo bien fuerte por acá, entonces se desconecta cada rato. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Don't worry, Mercedes. Let me see if I put you back in the group. Don't worry. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay, are we? Yes. Let's try. Let's see how many of them we got correct. Okay. What do you think is number one? What do you pick up? Pick up the toys, please. Pick up the toys. Okay. Number two. Turn the lights off, please. Turn the radio off, please. Oh, also could be turn the radio off. Okay. Yes. All right, let's see. Number three, what could be number three? Clean the yard up, please. Clean the yard, okay. Number four? Please put your jacket away. Okay. Your jacket, all right. What about number five? 
The radio. The radio. Okay. This one you think is the radio. Okay. What about number six? Your boots. Mm -hmm. Okay. Number seven. Your jacket. Hey, your, your jacket again. Okay. Number eight. The dog. The dog. The yeah, trash. I was looking here. Uh, we have the two. Oh, maybe, maybe the trash. Okay. Okay. Let's try both, right? The trash also, I heard. Okay. The dog is Number nine? The dog. The dog. The dog out. Okay. And the last one, number 10? The TV. The TV. Okay. Oh, we got a lot of them. Well, let's find out. Let's see how we did on this one. Ah, it says that we have two mistakes. Well, one mistake. Which one is that one? The trash. Why is the trash incorrect? He's not right. The, the okay. Oh. You didn't write. Uh, <laughs> you're right. Uh, there we go. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, there we go. Okay. So we got all of those. Now, of course, as you mentioned, some of them have more than one answers. As an example, number one, we can have the toys, mm -hmm. the books. Yeah, it's not necessarily only one. Remember, mm -hmm. the meaning is only one, but you can use with other things. Pick up, you can pick up a lot of things. Anything that's on the floor, you can pick up, okay? The same thing for turn off. Anything that is on, you can turn off like the TV or radio or other things. It's okay, all of these phrasal verbs? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now what are we going to do with our partners? You want to create your own, your own sentences, okay? I gave you a list, plus you have the ones from here. What I want you to do is I want you to create at least five for you and five for your partner. Try using those different phrasal verbs, okay? And create five and five sentences. We're only going to have five minutes, only five minutes, and we want to just practice trying to use them. Now, what is very important to remember that when you use them, you can change them into the past, present, or future. How do we change them into the past, present, or future? Well, here, for example, pick up, okay, in the present. In the past, how can I say this in the past? Pick up. That's right, with ED, picked up, okay? So yesterday, my brother picked up the toys, for example. Turn off, the same in the past. Or in the future, I am going to turn off the TV at 11 o'clock. Okay, so as you can see, you can put it different times. Only remember to use the first verb, the first verb in the present, past, or future. The second one you cannot change because if you change, the meaning changes. Yes? Yep. Okay. Perfect. So remember, five and five, that's what we want to try with our partners. We want to try five and five in only five minutes.
Hi again! Remember not only understanding grammar is important, but also pronunciation is as important. Please listen and practice the stress in two-part verbs. Pronunciation Stress in two-part verbs Part A. Listen and practice Both words in a two-part verb receive equal stress. Pick up the toys. Turn off the light. Pick the toys up. Turn the light off. Pick them up. Turn it off. Now that you have listened to the stress, go ahead and practice saying the following two part verbs. Hi again. Remember not only understanding grammar is important, but also pronunciation is as important. Please listen and practice the stress in two-part verbs. Pronunciation. Stress in two-part verbs. Part A. Listen and practice. Both words in a two-part verb receive equal stress. Pick up the toys. Turn off the light. Pick the toys up. Turn the light off. Pick them up. Turn it off. Now that you have listened to the stress, go ahead and practice saying the following two part verbs. Okay, any questions? No teacher, I don't have question. Okay, good Eric, anybody else? Anyone else? No, no. No. Okay, great. So let's take a look at those two part verbs and also on their pronunciation. The next one is just about pronunciation, how to pronounce them, okay? That means you pronounce them evenly, but let's watch a small video to hear the explanation. Hi again. Remember not only understanding grammar is important, but also pronunciation is as important. Please listen and practice the stress in two-part verbs.
Pronunciation. Stress in two-part verbs. Part A. Listen and practice. Both words in a two-part verb receive equal stress. Pick up the toys. Turn off the light. Pick the toys up. Turn the light off. Pick them up. Turn it off. Now that you have listened to the stress, go ahead and practice saying the following two part verbs. Okay, here it's pick up our things, cut it out, drop me off, turn the radio up, and put the phone down. It's okay how to pronounce all of them? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. So now I'd like you to give me an example of your two part verbs. What did you tell your partner? What was the one that you used? How did you use it? Let's make sure that everybody is using it correctly. So, all right. Eric, give me one example. What did you use? Yo puse como una oración. Yo hice como una oración larguita. Quiero ver. I was calling. I was calling. No, I was hanging up my calling when you when you were calling me. Okay, Josué, is that correct? No, no lo escucho muy bien. Okay, try again. Go ahead, Eric. Uh, I hanging, I hanging, I was hanging up my calling when you, when you were calling me. What do you think, Josué? No, no, no. No, no. no it's very good, Josué. It's not correct. Uh, is I was hanging up. Eric, I think you want to say almost correct. I was hanging up my call. No, my ah, call. I was hanging calling. up my call, my call when you called me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that means I'm talking to my mother. I'm talking to my brother. And then my friend called me. Ah, I was hanging up. I was finishing my call when the other person called me. Okay, okay. Okay, Rosa, give me an example. Go ahead, Rosa. Hi. Go ahead, give me an example, Rosa. Oh. Uh... Rosa? Hi, we are waiting for you. Rosa? Hi. Estamos esperándote. Uh, okay. Um. Mm. Please say oh, do como se dice zapato? The what, Rosa? Como se dice zapato? Mm. Alguien escuchó lo que Preguntó Rosa, que yo la escuché cortada. ¿Anybody? Sí, yo también. She wants she to wants know what do you say, zapatos. Shoes. Ah, zapatos, zapatos, yes, shoes. Um, please. 
please take off your shoes. Okay, good idea, Rosa. Only the pronunciation is shoes. Shoes. Correct. Good, Rosa. Very good. Thank you for trying, Rosa. Good effort. Very nice. All right, let's take a look. Nadi, give me an example. Um, turn off the TV. Okay, but that's the example from the book. That's the example from the platform. You give me an example. Um, turn off the car. Okay, all right. Turn off the <laughs> car. Okay, okay. Okay, good. So, Okay, let's try another one. Let's see. Um, Kimberly, give me an example, Kimberly. I have two examples, but I don't know if it's correct. It's, it's one question. The first one is, would you please drop me off home? Okay. And the second is, it's a sentence. My mother is picking my brother up. Okay, very good. Both of them are very good, Kimberly. Only the first one is, would you please drop me off at home? At home, okay, at home. And the other is correct, very nice. All right, guys, so this is the idea. We want to use them. The more you use the phrasal verbs, the easier it is. In this moment, in the chat, you're going to see a link for conversation. So right now, we're going to use the questions in the chat with our partners to talk and get to know each other. Try to use the, when the phrases or other words that you know, okay? So the idea is always try to give your, your partner a complete answer. So let's do one example. Kimberly, you were the last. Can you please read any questions from the, from the list? Any question? Okay, from what list? In the chat? In the chat, you will find a list of questions. Okay. There I'll is a see. link. Mm -hmm. I'll see. One question. Any question. In the chat, I, I can, I said, should I write a question? No, no, no. In the chat, there is a link. Uh -huh. click. Yes. If you click on the link, you will have a big list of questions. Okay. Okay, just wait a minute. I can't open the link, I don't know why. Okay. I think my, okay, oh, oh no, I did it. <sighs> You see, it's slow by internet. It's okay. We, it's okay, Kimberly. Relax. Don't worry. If you like, I can, I can read the, the, the question. Yes, Eric. Please read a question. Dos me dijo, verdad? One, any question, any question you want. Ah, okay. Uh, do you have any pets? Okay, I got it. <laughs> okay. Okay, I have a conversation question. Do you have any pets? Is that the question? Yeah, any, it's not necessary go in order. You can ask any question. It's not necessary one, two, three. You can go uh, any question. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you have brothers and sisters? What's your favorite food? Have okay. you ever been in another country? Thank you, Kimberly. Only one question. So, all right. So the idea is no problem. So with your partner, like the example of Eric and Kimberly, do you have any pets? The correct way is to answer complete sentence. No, yes, no. This is the Salvadorian answer. No, yes. This is the, no quiero ser amigos. Quiero mantenerme en mi casa y no salir afuera porque tengo miedo que me vayan a saltar. No, this is the idea. 
The idea is, Eric, ask me the question. Uh, do you have any pets? No, I don't have any pets because I don't like cats or dogs. I used to have a pet when I was younger. The name was Sparky and Sparky was, this is the complete answer. Not the answer, no. no. <laughs> yes. Okay, it's clear or no? Yes. Yes? Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, let's try with our partners then. So open up the... We need to say, we need to be uh, more polite. Yeah, no, no, no polite. You just need to, you need to speak. <laughs> it's well, not... Obviously, but <laughs> yes, you need to give uh, more information. Correct. That's the idea. Okay. All right. So let's try it.
meeting is. What happened, Sandra? No, no. Okay. <laughs> I heard the meeting is okay. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, everyone. We are finished for today, our first day. Remember, tomorrow we continue. This week, we have class Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday because of the yesterday. But the next week is normal. So tomorrow, we connect and we continue in the platform 1.7. That's right, teacher. Okay, All right, guys. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you so much for everything. Thank Have a good night. Tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Bye.